Welcome back to our In Focus special report on the 695 tragedy. Yeah, we're going to take a closer look at what happened in the aftermath of the crash on a statewide scale. In April of 2023, the governor announced the creation of a work zone safety work group. It would provide safety recommendations in work zones all across the state. And as Kara Burnett explains, it would be led by the lieutenant governor who has a background in traffic engineering. Number one, we're going to do a public sa safety campaign. Lieutenant Governor Aruna Miller sat down with WMAR2 News to discuss some of the findings of the work group she spearheaded last year. Their recommendations released in November. The public is on our side. They want to see change. And that's a big focus for Miller, creating a change in the culture of driving. The first of many recommendations from the work group. And she tells us there's precedent for it. Seatbelts. 35 years ago, it looked a lot different than it does today. They were able to bring a culture change through education, public safety campaign, through enforcement, and through legislation. And it took a while, but we made it happen. Some of the other administrative recommendations include strengthening the language in the Maryland Driver Manual, changing the curriculum for driver's ed and online training resources, a mascot for the work safety campaign, and improving the notification and signage around entering work areas on the highway. I think most individuals understand the nature of this initiative, that it isn't an effort to raise revenues, it's an effort to create safer roadways for everyone. Cara Burnett, WMAR 2 News.